Hey yo, what is up? I've had the Skyrox V8 for three weeks now. It's ahead of the competition in the same price bracket and rightfully so. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Of course, it's not without some flaws either, so we'll discuss that too. TLDR, this mouse is in contention for mouse of the year. So here's my operating scenario, 10 hours plus usage a day, my hand size is 21 by 12. Uh, the temperature here is in the 90s or 32 degrees. Humidity is about 60% above indoors, it's 63 now. It's about 80 plus uh, percent outdoors. You can see my fingertips are sweaty and I have a clammy hand but I've got a very soft, relaxed grip. So let's talk about the specs, the battery life and the cleanliness check first. Uh, the V8 is of course a 3950 mouse with 8K right out of the box with this uh, cute little puck here actually looks pretty good with the rubber base. Uh, the unbox is great, uh, but honestly, I feel like uh, Vaxi and Endgame gear uh, is my kind of unbox experience that I like. Uh, you know, the, the box itself, it will end up in a landfill somewhere and this is just not good for the environment. Now, out of the box, the color coordination is great. You've got the uh, yellow cable, which is in the box, uh, the yellow puck and the yellow mouse. Really nice color matched and uh, it looks great. Uh, the battery life itself on 2K polling, you're getting about 40 hours over three days. And uh, this has a 250 milliamp battery inside. Uh, this is really good for a 39 gram mouse. On 1K, you're looking at uh, six, seven days of service, and this is going to be a huge selling point uh, because six, seven days of operations on one charge, uh, it's going to appeal to a lot of people who are really not fussed about 2K, 4K, 8K polling rates. Uh, from a cleanliness perspective, you can see it's pretty mint, and the coating seems to uh, repel sweat and grime very well there's no residue or build up around uh, the buttons where my fingers rest uh, more on this later let's talk about the shape and size now a lot of people are interested in this mouse and the uh, mad r and it's mainly because of the value proposition it's under 40 grams it has a 39 50 sensor and 8k polling out of the box However, I wouldn't compare these two mices head to head. Um, the V8 is closer to an OP1 shape, OP1WE or OP18K. It is closer to that than a Sora V2 or a Mad R. The grip width is 54.5, which is only one millimeter wider than the OP1WE and the trigger height is only half a millimeter taller. So in essence, this is almost the same feel that you would get out of an OP1 uh, kind of shape. Uh, the more notable, noticeable difference between the two is the more aggressive rear hump on the V8. So if you ever felt like the OP1 or the OP1WE is a little too tiny, this Skyrox V8 is going to be a viable option. If you're just looking for something uh, that will support your, your palm here a little bit better, I would easily say this is an upgrade to the OP1WE or OP1 shape. And even if you have like a tiny to medium size hands, this will fit sn snugly if you're looking for that constant contact on the palm. This will be an excellent shape for you. As for build, build quality, this has the same uh, build quality as a VGN, a VXE or a Sora V2 or a Sprime PM1 
or an ATK. In my opinion, this is as good as it gets at this weight bracket. Uh, it does feel like the shell is thin, but that does not take away from the integrity of the shape. If you really want to crush it with one hand, I'm sure you could do it, but this is not the goal, right? We do have a wobbly M1 and M2 slightly, but they don't make any kind of grindy sounds. If you push into them sideways, they're not going to touch each other or any part of the shell. But does Logitech or Razer have better build quality? Yes. Do they weigh 39 grams? No. So I'm pretty comfortable with that trade-off. As for the coating, I received three mice on the same day, the Skyrox, uh, the Mad R, and the Maya X. And out of the three, the Skyrox is slightly grippier than the Mad R and the Maya X. However, I can't say if this is any benefit at all. I feel like the last three months, uh, the Chinese brands have been doing uh, the grippy coat thing like very well they seem to repel sweat and oils uh, no no problem at all i feel like the end game gear is no longer like the gold standard like it used to be everybody used to compare themselves against the end game gear uh, i can i think you can confidently buy any chinese mice right now and you'll be getting a decent rubberized coatings now as for the buttons go the M1 and M2 is equipped with the Omron Opticals and this switch is the most popular switch in the market right now, mechanical or optical. These are just the best out there. It's crispy, it's light, they sound sophisticated and refined and I think this is largely due to the Omron switch itself and not attributed to the mouse or the trigger design i think it's all the switch because i have a lot of omron switches and they all sound like this really really nice the side buttons however is a different story they work great they're tactile they're responsive however the sound and feel uh, leaves a lot to be uh, desired it's hollow it's empty and they just overall just sound terrible let's take a listen to all the buttons and we'll compare it to other side buttons Compared to the Viper, compared to a X Lite V3. Now let's compare it to a Maya X. So there you go, those are the buttons. Again, nothing wrong with them. They work fine, they feel fine, but they just don't sound fine, if that makes sense. As for the feet, the stock feet are pretty good. They're not the same ones used on the Mad R or VGN or VXE or ATKs. These are really good. Uh, those are lower quality cardboard backed adhesive. Uh, however, the PTFE skates supplied uh, that were supplied was not installed on the mouse and you have to go uh, figure it out yourself. It's pretty straightforward, but I did notice some problems and I'm sure everyone will run into these issues at, as well. Number one, the base has cutouts 
that you need to fit your skates inside it perfectly uh, and it's kind of like slightly below the surface right if you're inexperienced or you're not careful you could misalign uh, the sticker or the placement of the skates and what happens is your skates are going to stick out on the ledge and then you have skates that are uneven because they're sitting up higher at some spots than other spots if you didn't put them out exactly and because these are machined almost perfectly to fit into that slot it's really difficult if you're not experienced uh, if you're not doing this 100 times a day this is pretty difficult to do it took me a couple of tries i had to peel it off put it back peel it off put it back to make sure that it's aligned properly properly and then problem number two the skates itself is separating from the adhesive paper let me just show you these are the middle skates i couldn't get them off because the skate itself is separating from the adhesive and the adhesive is stuck to the paper so that's why i don't have the middle ring installed on mine because i couldn't get them off without destroying them um, so you know that's uh, in my opinion this should have been taken care of at the factory some 18 year old chinese girl would have made quick work of this and i think it's a lot easier for me to rip them off if i didn't like them than it is for me to try and install these skates correctly myself um, yeah that's what i have to say about the skates in terms of performance and value in the note that skyrock sent out with the mouse they said the introductory price of the v8 was going to be at 59 dollars and for this price i feel it's going to be a real bargain uh, who is this mouse for? Uh, it's going to be for people looking at OP1 shapes. If you're looking at an OP1 8K, if you're looking at an OP1 WE, uh, or you have smaller hands, or you're a girl, or you like uh, fingertip grips, or you like aggressive claw grips, and you want the best specs out there and wireless performance, this is for you because uh, at 59 or maybe let's say it's even 70 dollars it's a fantastic deal because you're getting you know pretty good value right you're getting wireless 8k 3950 sensor all this for 60 70 dollars i think this is an absolute bargain uh, everything is top notch uh, of course again i spoke about the build quality if you're expecting razor or logitech build quality you might feel that this is a little bit lacking because you might feel like the shell is a little bit thin it feels a little bit flimsy wobbly on the m1 m2 but i can tell you it makes no difference to the performance and uh you know i don't feel this is going to be a detriment to the value that uh the skyrox v8 will bring at 59 dollars or 69 dollars so that's my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video and took some useful information. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.